a bit more about data store queries, uh, namely uh, we'll talk about filters and sort orders now. So I have here what you saw before. I can enter a new comment, and uh, if I reload the page, it displays all the comments. This is the idea of the comment. This is the content of the comment. And this is the code that does that. So let's say what I want to do is I want to add a little rating to each comment. Uh, let's say stars, right? So if I want to add a new attribute to the comment, I just go stars equal. And uh, let's say I want the stars to be a number. So that's going to be an integer property. And uh, we just use the default. Um, so now my comments have stars associated with them, which are integers. And then I'm going to need a way for the user to enter the number of stars. So that's going to be right before the submit button. Say how many stars enter, enter number of stars. And then I'm going to use, uh, what was it called? It's called the, uh, uh, the select. I'm going to use a select with the option. So this one generates this kind of thing. So I need a select with options. Select. Again, you should use Jinja. Don't do what I'm doing here, but this makes it easier to describe this to you. So value is one, one, close the option. Say I got one, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five. And similarly over here, so options and uh, uh, I need the, uh, the name, right? So the name that we're gonna use to send this over, which is gonna be what? Uh, num stars, the number of stars. So I think that'll work. Let's see. Let's go over here, reload that, and there you go. So it says number of stars. I get to choose. Let's see, now with three stars. Submit. Well, starts. <laughs> uh, well, we actually haven't, I'm not writing it yet. So what's going to happen is, you know, that's going to go to the post. The post is now only creating a comment with a, oh wait, I still have it, I did. I left this in from before. So this wasn't there before, but let's pretend I wasn't. It was like that. Um, so, so I'm only adding the comment, so now I need to add the stars. So I say stars equals and uh, self.request.get num stars. Close, right? So, because now I have the content and the stars. And uh, so now that's going to work, right? So I enter new, new comment and I'm going to give it one star, submit, crashed. You see, it says bad value error property stars must be an int or long, right? Uh, because I did say that stars has to be an integer. What happens is when I do self.request.get, that always returns a string, even though I know it's an integer. So I gotta anyway, change it to an integer. We do have types in Python. Even though it's dynamically typed, it doesn't mean it's typeless. So we're gonna change that to an integer. So it works. Now with four stars. Four in there, submit, and there you go. Did it work? Well, let's check this guy here. Let's check our min page, and uh, now with four stars, there you go. It's got four stars, or three stars. That has three stars because, you know, I already had the code there before. These are the old ones. You see, they don't have any stars because back then I hadn't didn't have a star property. So they're like empty, uh, and that's okay. That's okay. We don't have a problem with it. Now let's show them so because uh, well, you can see they don't, they don't actually show how many stars are associated with each comment uh, i want to show that so this is the code here for showing the star but what i want to do is i want to use a filter so i can do this uh, this is the query that's going to return to me all the comments but i actually want to filter that query 
and uh, I want to filter. Um, well, now I want to do that later. Let's do that later. Let's first just show all the stars so you can see them. So there, here is the comment, the I, the ID, and then I'm gonna put the number of stars here right after that. The stars. So, so then I'm gonna go over here and say self dot comment dot stars. So first the ID, then the stars, and the comment ID stars comment um, probably put VR in there. Okay, let's reload that. Okay, twenty three non non stars non star non star but this one's got three stars, this one has four stars. So you notice it didn't crash even though these were are non, right? It just, Python just turned the non, which was the empty stars into the word non, and we got that, and you know, it's better than a crash. Uh, I could have, uh, you know, I should have filtered that out. So let's say uh, now I wanna filter. So I wanna filter this, um, and let me add another one. Now with two stars, and I'll make well, with two stars, submit it, and there you go. There is three, four, and two. So now let's say I wanna just get the ones that have more than two stars. So I would say filter on stars bigger than comma two. So this is documented here. If you click on filters and data store query, you know Python. Storing data, data store queries, filters. Uh, that's how it is. Yeah, so you just say filter and the property and then one of these operators, equal, greater than, less than, and the in operator, which needs a list as the second argument. So I want stars bigger than two. And if I run that again, Reload the page, and then you see three, three stars and four stars, and the two stars and the nuns are gone, right? Because they're not bigger than two. Pretty neat, huh? Um, you can do bigger than one, and then the two stars will show up again. So two, three, four. You notice that the the order changed, right? Um, so that's the other thing we want to talk about here: is the order or the sort orders. Click on that, and you can see it's actually, again, very easy. Uh, once we get the query, I can order it based on any property that I want. So let's say I actually want to store it. If I uh, you know, sort it by stars, even though they are sorted already by stars. One star, I'm going to add that one there. And uh, it doesn't show because one is less than one, so one, two is ordered in them already by stars, which is interesting. Uh, let's say we want in the opposite order. You want, want the high stars first, right? Uh, so then we can say sort stars, right? That's what the documentation says. Uh, I'm sorry, order. So it's good to check the documentation. Order and then the property by stars. You see, if you put the minus one, it's gonna inverse the minus sign, it's gonna invert it. So let's see, if we do that, how is it gonna work? I'm gonna do stars, reload. Well, nothing changed. Let's do minus stars and see if that flips it. Bingo. So that one, four, three, two, one. So pretty easy, right? So and you can keep adding these, you can have multiple filters. Uh, and uh, ordering things as you want.